I'm so happy to be here today to talk about Cooper because it's a place that's near and dear to my heart and the education that I got there has been something that I've thought back on so many times. I'm so grateful for it's had a huge influence on my life. Greetings, everybody. My name is Vic Schwartz. I graduated from Cooper in 1957 with a degree in mechanical engineering. My time at Cooper was great. I work with a team of all-stars, intellectual all-stars, and you couldn't help but get a little better if you just played with them. It's like playing tennis with somebody a little bit better every day. You're going to get better. I'm Akshay Anantapatthanabhan, and I'm an engineering graduate from the Cooper Union 2010 class and received my master's there as well in 2011. Since then, I actually made a complete switch into becoming a full-time musician. I perform the Carnatic or South Indian classical hand drums and vocal percussions of India. I started to focus on the visual arts and, and heard about the Cooper Union, which was the best school in the country that you could, should be so lucky to get into, and, um, and I became obsessed. It was the first time in my life I ever really fought for something that I was passionate about, was getting into Cooper. Cooper more than prepared me for a career, and I'm sure that most, if not all, of my fellow alums would say the same. The foundational knowledge about the way things work and the breadth of topics that we studied really helped us to develop a distinctive way of thinking. And I say this because when Cooper alums get together, it's a common theme that regardless of the field that we pursued, uh, we seem to be the ones solving the hard problems at work or coming up with the unique ideas. I ended up discovering filmmaking by taking an experimental film course and that was it, I was in love. It was where all of the things that I love, drama and music and the visual arts all came together into one place. And even though there was an amazing experimental film course that Bob Breer and Ross McLaren were teaching, even though it wasn't a narrative filmmaking course, it sort of didn't matter because what I learned at Cooper was how to be an artist. Once at Aerospace, I worked for Rockwell. I worked on many, many programs, but the culmination and the best was the GPS program, which I worked on in 1974 through the, through the 70s. I was on the originated team and four of us were awarded the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering, designed to award people who produce technology that could be used by all humanity and encourage young people to consider a career in engineering. To this day, I am so thoughtful and grateful about that education because I'm around people all of the time who really didn't have an intense arts education. And I see what a difference it's made in my life. And I'm so, so happy to have come from that direction. Honestly, I strongly believe that my experiences and learnings and friends from the Cooper Union have been an integral part of my professional journey. It's all about what did Cooper provide. It provided a chance to work with some very, very smart people, all stars in my mind. It also provided some talk of teamwork. If I could put together the team, we could be successful. Cooper was tough, and we all developed resilience. We all developed the fortitude to keep going until we solved the problem or until we mastered the topic. And that's great for a career, and that's great for life. Let's all do our parts in helping the Cooper Union's education prophecy to return to that of Peter Cooper's vision, free as air and water. I hope that you join me in contributing anything you can um, in, in helping the generation of tomorrow get this incredible education that helped certainly change my life and helped me get to where I got to. And if you feel inclined, think about chipping in a little few bucks for Cooper. They need it and can use it right now. Thank you for having me and I can't wait to come back and always stay involved with the school in my life. Thanks.